Previously, we have seen a plane scale in problem number eight. So this is the second type. Problem number nine from sheet number one, which is a diagonal scale based problem. So here, just read the problem. Construct a diagonal scale of RF one tends to twenty. So in this case, RF is given to you. Previously, RF you have to calculate it. So RF is one tends to twenty two. Read meter, decimeter, and centimeter. You can see diagonal scale is basically used to measure up to three units. In plane scale, you can measure up to two units. But in diagonal scale, you can measure up to three units. It should be long enough to measure four meter. So here, uh, if RF is given to you, so you have to start with LOS, which is length of scale. It is RF into maximum length. So RF is given to you one by twenty, and maximum length is four meter. So meter into Uh, millimeter you have to convert into mm so if you calculate this so 200 millimeter so our length of scale is 200 meter so same diag uh, as plane scale you have to construct a scale with the 20 cm or 200 millimeter like this so this represent our scale now as as shown earlier you have to construct a rectangle but in diagonal scale you have to measure this dimension at an dimension of 5 cm you have to draw a line of 5 cm long so 5 cm long line like this and construct a rectangle with this as a reference and draw a parallel line like this so you have to construct this rectangle for a diagonal scale now same you have to mention each and every data over here which is used to construct this uh, scale so this length of scale is equal to 200 mm and rf is equal to 1 tends to 20 so this is it now same you have to divide this into four equal parts because this represent 4 meter 20 cm represent 4 meter you have to divide it into four equal parts which is 5 cm each part use this as a reference like this now we have divide this into uh, four equal parts so if we start with zero over here so this one this is 1 meter this is 2 meter and 3 meter so this represent 3 meters so you have to write down meters over here okay now this if this is a plane scale if this is a plane scale you have to divide this into 10 equal parts and this represent a decimeter because a tenth part of 1 meter is a decimeter so this part is known as a decimeter so you have to write down decimeter over here in capital letters and divide this into 10 equal parts but this is a diagonal method so in diagonal method you have to follow certain rules you cannot directly divide this into 10 equal parts what you have to do just divide above and below portion into 10 equal parts like this so you have to divide this into 10 equal parts and this into 10 equal parts uh, initially don't draw vertical lines over here now 
this represent the uh, decimeters so if you want to divide if you want to measure a centimeter then again you have to divide a one decimeter into 10 equal parts which is not possible uh, because the the dimensions of this is very uh, 5 millimeter so you cannot divide 5 mm into 10 equal parts accurately so for that you have to divide this vertical part into 10 equal parts because we are using a diagonal as a dimension so you have to divide this into 10 equal parts 5 centimeters so 5 mm each and draw horizontal line from this now draw very thin line because there are so many lines are there so if some lines are intersecting with each other you have been confused to measure the dimension So construct this into 10 equal, 10 equal lines. So now give 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Now you can see this partition is used to measure centimeter. So you have to write down centimeter over here. Now this part, this is a zero, this is one. So one decimeter, this is a one decimeter. So one decimeter, two, three, four, five, 7, 8, 9 and 10th decimeter. 10th decimeter is equal to 1 meter. So you have to construct a diagonal. To construct a diagonal, just remember this very carefully, understood this very carefully. You have to write down this as a 1 dash. It's the same number. You can see 1 dash, 2 dash, 3, 4, 5, okay, up to 9 dash. Now, joint 1 dash with 0 join 1 dash with 0 same 2 dash with 1 3 dash with 2 accordingly you have to construct you have to join the lines like this So here we construct a diagonals for one particular division. So this is how you have to construct. Now if you take only this part, I will show you in different colors. I will explain you what diagonal means. If you take only this part, the first division, this, this is a zero, this is a one centimeter, two centimeter, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten centimeter is equal to again one decimeter. So this represent what a centimeter is also involved. So this is how the diagonal works. So if if they need to measure 2.47 meter then here we have a three units 2 meter 40 decimeter and 7 centimeter so this is how you have to find out the ways in uh, from the scale so 2 meter that means this is a 2 meter extend this 2 meter over here like this 40 decimeter or we can say the 4 decimeter, 4 decimeter is over here and 7 centimeter, 7 is you have to find out the intersecting point over here, so 4 to 7, so this is 4 T7, which is nearer to 5, so this is 47, 4, 4 from this, di uh, this direction and 7 from this, so this is your 7, so 2.47 so this is your first measurement two 
2.47 meter same way 1.62 meter so this is a 162 that means this is a 6 2 that means this so this is a 62 1.62 meter same way 0 0.90 meter is here okay uh, 0 0.90 meter so this is your answer that is uh, self study okay so this is the diagonal scale diagonal scale is basically used to measure three units meter decimeter and centimeter not in uh, this order every time so three units and plane scale is used only for two units.